What's going on everybody? Crazy Dog back with another video and I've got some Browns free agency news to talk about. As you can see on your screen, the Browns re-signed linebacker Malcolm Smith. It was a one-year deal. I did not catch the monetary part of the, uh, the re-signing, but still, it's a good job by Andrew Barry to bring back a player who really stepped in for us. Of course, we brought in Malcolm Smith when Mac Wilson got hurt. And yeah, he absolutely balled out for us. I mean, he gave our defense a little bit of swag. I mean, if you watch this defense, whenever they got a turnover, they were running to the uh, not so well, I guess you could say sideline end zone area near one of the photographers. And they would take what they would call a family photo where they would all just pose in front of the photographer. And it was awesome, you know. I hadn't really seen that from a Browns defense in a while where, you know, they just have a little bit of swag to them. You know, they had a nastiness to them. And I loved it. You know, they would get an interception. The whole freaking unit would run to the end zone. They would find one of the photographers. Of course, there was a video I saw where they were posing in the end zone. And uh, one of our photographers was running like crazy, trying to get down there to catch the, uh, image get the picture and he was just a tad bit late <laughs> uh, felt bad for that guy but yeah man um i think he was actually memed for it too i think the browns actually low-key memed him doing it like uh they took a video of him running down to the end zone and then uh as he got set up the players were going back to the sideline and uh they essentially changed the screen to black and white in the video and they were playing like a really sad song. You'd have to watch it. If I can find it, I'll definitely, uh, you know, post it on here or post it on Instagram because it was hilarious. I'm pretty sure I retweeted it when they posted it too. But yeah, it was hilarious. But yeah, like I said, you know, I mean, he brought a swag to this defense and uh, it definitely showed. He was without a doubt one of our best players on defense especially at the linebacker position next to B.J. Goodson. Because other than him, I mean, we had, what, Sione Takitaki. We had Mac Wilson, who struggled mightily last year. Of course, he got hurt in training camp. I believe there was a hyperextended knee, which isn't easy to come back from. You know, he had to wear a brace, and that slowed him down a little bit. And even then, you know, when he got the brace off, he was whiffing on tackles and everything. And Malcolm Smith stepped in. Took care of business, you know? Loved it. That was one of the most underrated signings by Andrew Berry last year. And now you take a look at his stats and everything. You can see he's been a lot of places. He started off with Seattle, of course. He won the Super Bowl. He was a Super Bowl MVP with the Seahawks. And then he went to the Raiders, lasted a couple seasons there. And then in 2018, he went to San Francisco in 2019. He didn't really stick around too long. Uh, he was with Dallas and Jacksonville, didn't do a whole lot there. And then, of course, 2020, Mac Wilson gets hurt in training camp. We bring in him, we bring in Malcolm Smith, and he plays 15 games, four starts, gets an interception, and uh, 72 combined tackles. Yeah, he was really good. He was really, really good for this defense. And I'm glad we were able to bring him back. Now, he wasn't the only guy that we were able to bring back as uh, a couple hours ago, as you can see right here, thanks to Jake Trotter, who is arguably the best beat writer the Browns have, no cap, freaking love Jake. You know, he keeps it real. You know, he's not one of those drama-seeking beat writers. He's legit there to get info and pass it along to the people. And that's what you love, you know. I'm glad we got Jake Trotter on the beat writing staff. But as you can see, uh, he tweeted, actually first, he said, Cleveland fans, you know, kind of like, oh my God, what's going to happen here? You know, it's like something's happening pretty much. And then he said that we were nearing a deal with Richard Higgins. And then uh, he quote tweeted himself saying that uh, he Higgins is signing a one-year deal for $2.38 million, fully guaranteed with Cleveland. So yeah, we're running it back once again with Richard Higgins. I kind of wish it was like a multi-year deal, but I understand it, you know. Now, you look at Rashard's stats, 
and uh, you, you notice something right away. You know, rookie year, didn't really do a whole lot. He did play in every game, didn't start any. Six receptions on 12 targets. I mean, that's what you get when you're like a, you know, a rookie receiver who's deep on a kind of bad depth chart, you know. Just didn't really get a lot of action. And then 2017 comes around, 15 games, four starts, 50 targets, 27 receptions, two touchdowns. Not bad. And then came arguably his best season where uh, 13 games, one start, 53 targets, 39 receptions, 572 yards, four touchdowns. That was his best season to that point. And then came 2019. Okay, yep. Uh, this was without a doubt uh, a year. I'm sure he immediately wanted to throw in the fire. You know, that was not a good year for him. I mean, 10 games, one start, 11 targets, four receptions the entire year, one touchdown. And that one touchdown came against the Bills, and that touchdown just so happened to help us win that game. Now, why did he have such a bad season? Well, one, injuries, and two, he was thrown in a doghouse by Freddie freaking Kitchens. I don't even know why. Like, the dude got hurt, okay? He finally gets healthy, and then that freaking bum Kitchens throws him in the doghouse. <laughs> it's like, what the heck, bro? I mean, damn, no wonder freaking Baker struggled in 2019. He didn't have arguably his best receiver out there. <laughs> My God, bro, are you serious right now? And then, of course, 2020 comes around last season, and he definitely had a major bounce back season. Again, played in 13 games, six starts, 52 targets, 37 receptions, 599 yards, and four touchdowns. And like I said, he was one of Baker's most reliable targets. And the thing is, most of those starts came after Odell got hurt. Yeah, when Odell got hurt, this dude stepped in his spot and balled the heck out. And honestly, <laughs> heading into this offseason, I was scared that we were going to lose him. I had actually heard that other teams were legit looking at him. And Andrew Barry's like, nah, uh, uh we're not letting you go anywhere. You're coming right back here to play with Baker. Because as we've seen, you and Baker go together like white on rice, like mac and cheese, you know? I mean, damn. They got that instant chemistry. We saw that when Baker first entered the league. I mean, I remember in 2018, Baker running second team offense with Rashard Higgins. They were shredding the Browns' second team defense. The second team defense could not stop them at all. They were eviscerating them. I mean, damn. <laughs> and that's when I knew it's like, those two guys... They're going to have fun together. And we've seen it in their celebrations, too. Of course, Richard Higgins does the red carpet celebration. And, of course, uh, we all saw that uh, one against the Tennessee Titans. Baker with the phenomenal slide. That that was a dope slide. And love that, you know. But, yeah, I mean, it was essential that we brought back Richard Higgins. And I'm glad to have him back. You know, and I know he's happy to be back, too. I'm excited to see what uh, Baker and Richard can do this upcoming season, you know, and, and year two under this offense. And um, hopefully Richard can have a fully healthy season. Same goes for Baker. Actually, same goes for everybody, you know, and of course we're going to have Odell back too. So that'd be fun. Now, a um, little while later after that, got to give another shout out to Hayden Grove, another beat writer for the Browns. He's actually pretty cool too. He gave us a nice little rundown of what the Browns have done so far in free agency as you can see, the Browns uh, signed John Johnson, three years, $33.75 million. Tech McKinley, one year for $4 million. Malcolm Smith, one year. Don't know the terms of the cash terms anyway. And then Richard Higgins, like I said. So overall, not bad. 
not a bad off season so far. And for those wondering if we're done, well, um, once again, shout out to Jake Trotter. He answered your question saying, uh, Andrew Berry, likely not done either. Brown's still on the hunt for additional help at linebacker and corner. So far, though, another impressive offseason for Cleveland. And I'd say, yes, sir. Now, I actually heard a rumor that the Browns were interested or are interested in cornerback Garyon Conley. And for those who know who that is, or if they don't know who that is, well, uh, another Ohio guy. Yeah. Um, went to Maslin Washington High School. Of course, he went to the Ohio State University, along with uh, Denzel Ward. And, of course, he was selected by the Raiders in the draft. And, um, honestly, I would love to bring in Gary on Conley. And I've also heard some Browns fans talking about Troy Hill from the Rams. Yeah, let's bring in another Ram. Of course, he's from Youngstown, Ohio. So, another Ohio kid. I'd love to bring him in, too. Either one of those guys would be great. Now, a uh, linebacker... Not really sure what's out there. I mean, I would love to see the Browns bring back B.J. Goodson. That might be the linebacker we bring in. Honestly, I'd be fine with it. And then maybe you go in the draft and you take, like, Jeremiah Owusu koromora or Zayvon Collins or someone like that. But um, another thing I could see us doing is maybe adding another defensive end. I have heard a low-key that the Browns aren't done looking at defensive ends even after bringing in Tack. I mean, I would definitely look at maybe Justin Houston or possibly Melvin Ingram. I'm sure there's others out there, but those are the two names that really come to mind, you know. But we'll see what they do. And, of course, if the Browns make any more signings, whether it's us resigning a guy or bringing in someone from out of the organization, I will make a video about it, and I'm going to talk about it a little bit, but... uh. Figured I'd make this video talking about uh, the Browns bringing back two good players. And uh, I always say that it's as important to bring back your free agents as it is to bring in good free agents. You know, it's equally as important. You know, you don't want to let your good free agents go. You got to bring back your good free agents. And uh, that's exactly what we did. So that's going to wrap it up for this video. Shout out to the Dog Pound. Shout out to my Dog Pound brothers, as always. You already know how it goes. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully the Browns have some more news for us in the morning. we we'll have to wait and see. But, um, yeah. By the way, Cavs won tonight. That was cool. Yeah, they beat the Celtics on St. Patrick's Day. Freaking savages. You know that? <laughs> but, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm Crazy Dog at 99. Let's go Browns. And I'm out.